Hi everybody, my name is Alex, and today I'm going to present Prism, but before I go into that, I guess I got to also present who Dextrak even is, because some of you in the audience I know know who Dextrak is, but some of you I don't know. So who is Dextrak? Well, we primarily offer support on many networks for CCIP, OCR, PR, basically we're a node operator, right? And we've been active in the Chainlink community since pretty much the ICO. So we're one of the original node operators. We also offer web free consulting um, for some, I would say, pretty big names. Um, and we have built the Chainlink on the community wiki. Now, what is Prism? Because that's what you guys are here for, right? Is this thing working? Because I got a... Green button. Hey, story for that, guys. Uh, now that we have uh, the, the slides, what is Prism, right? So Prism basically is an app that ingests and displays and processes data about, right now, only OCR, but soon other parts of Chainlink as well. And the reason why we even built it in the first place was, was because us, as a node operator, wanted to track our own performance and see how we kind of fare and monitor when we have issues and just generally try to improve ourselves. We figured if we need this, maybe other people also need it. So that's why we are now making it public at uh, this smart con. Now, in this current version of uh, Prism, and you gotta uh, keep in mind this is only version one, here's a few examples of stuff you can actually do. We're gonna demo it later, but you can monitor a node's performance, right? Stuff like updates, observations, failed updates, and missed observations on pretty much any given feed that that node operator is on. You can also compare the activity of like different operators on different feeds and chain to kind of see which one is doing better than the other. And you can even find spikes in, for example, failed on-chain updates. So for example, I'm gonna see later that at the beginning of this month we had a few issues, I'm gonna explain what happened, and we could monitor that with Prism. So I guess that's demo time for me. Uh, this is the actual Prism website. It's completely free. You can just go to prism.dextract.com and you can check it out. No emails, nothing. You just come in here and you can see it. <clears throat> First thing you're going to see is a performance overview. This is basically right now data for the whole of Chainlink, all of its node operators. You can see it as far as 90 days back. This is round observations, missed observations, uh, successful launching updates, and failed launching updates. Get used to these four charts because you're going to see them a lot. Um, <clears throat> There's also the economics page, which basically shows you revenue and whatnot, but I'm really personally more interested in performance. I think it's a lot more interesting. So let's go to the operators page, and right here you have a table with all operators that are on Chainlink, all, I think, I'm not exactly sure how many there are, 60-something. Uh, oh, sorry, look, I, you can actually filter this table by network, and I had it filtered by Celo. So this is actually all of them on all networks. And you can sort them by on-chain updates or failed on-chain updates. <clears throat> you can even filter them. So if you only want to see um, operators that have at least 5,000 successful transactions, you can do that. And there's going to be a lot less of them, but still a few. Now, this is super interesting because you can very easily compare them. And in the future, we might bring more comparison tools to kind of figure out what is better than the other. Not necessarily in a bad way, but just like to, to account for performance. You also have a performance page, which has, again, as I said, round observations, missed round observations. This is actually ranked. We have taken the liberty of picking a few default options, but you can pretty much pick any operator to show in these four charts right here, even all of them, if that's what you want. Also, that's not very readable. Um, yeah, but what's really interesting to a lot of node operators, I see we have a few in the audience, is if you go to your specific page, and you can do that either through the table right here in the node operators overview, or you can just search for yourself, right? Um, you can see exactly your data for every given day over the past 90 days. I told you guys I'm gonna tell you about an issue we had at the beginning of the month. This is it right here. We moved on AWS temporarily to kind of upgrade our data center and whatnot. And we could see this spike in missed observations. Now, in our case, we knew this was going to happen. We knew what was going to happen, so it's fine. But like, you ha can have situations as a node operator where you might have spikes in missed observations or failed on-chain updates. And you can use Prism to monitor that and figure out a way to fix it. Now, that's on you, although we do offer consulting services. Um, 
you can definitely filter this view by any specific uh, network you want. So if you only want to see what you've done on Ethereum, you can do that. Fairly easy. If you only want to see 30 days, you can also do that. That's also easy. Now, you can also separate uh, the data for Dextract, for example. In the overview of Dextract, you can see the data separated per network. And if you go to the feed subpage, you can also see it separated per feed. So we're on some almost 300 feeds, and you can see the data for the past 30 or 90 days for each and every one of them. This is super useful, as Mark has told me when I built it. Um, yeah. You can also see some data separated per networks and different comparisons in between networks on the networks page, and even go to individual networks to kind of see how they fare. So for example, you might notice that Phantom tends to have more failed on-chain updates than other networks. That's something you can see with Prism. But yeah, that's Prism. That's Prism and it's version one, which brings me to my next slide, which is what does the future hold for Prism, right? This is only version one. There's a lot that we've done, but there's a lot that we're going to do. And one thing that we really have to mention that we really fell in love with this idea is the weighted reputation system. You see a lot of data about all these node operators, but it's hard to analyze, right? It's hard to put two and two together and compare all that data because what really is the most important metric for a node operator? Well, there's no most important. That's why we're going to make a reputation system where we weigh you know, not only how many updates you have, but what percentage of them are failed, not only how many observations you have, but what percentage of them are failed. We might weigh, for example, Ethereum more so than Phantom, precisely because Phantom generally has more failed uh, updates, right? Now, we're going to come up with our own default weighing system for this reputation system or scoring system, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're not sure exactly how that's going to look, but what I can promise you today is that we're also going to have a way for you guys to set your own custom reputation system. So if you don't like our parameters for it, you can just change it, and it's going to be weighted just the way you want it to be weighted, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, another thing that is really important for us is that we bring more data. What you've seen so far is really only just OCR. It's a drop in the bucket, right? You got CCIP, you got automation, you got functions and streams. There's a lot more data that we can bring on. You can also separate the data that we currently have for OCR for specific feeds, so you can compare feeds individually the way you compare networks. Uh, there's a lot of work to do, and we're up for it. Now, in ending, I want to give you guys a quote, which has been picked by our CEO right here, Devlin. Woo! Uh, yeah. This is a quote by Jeffrey Moore, but it, it says as follows. Without big data analytics, companies are blind and deaf, wandering out onto the web like a deer on a freeway. Basically, look, if you can't actually figure out what your data looks like and what your performance looks like, then you can't improve yourself, right? What cannot be tracked and measured cannot be improved. And that's what we're really trying to do with Prism. We're trying to keep ourselves first accountable, but everyone else as well, which in turn is going to improve our performance as node operators and will make Chainlink more secure, because that's what it's all about. Now, that's the end of the talk. If you guys have any questions, we have a booth. If you go downstairs from here and right that way, that's where the booth is. Thanks.